it's Lori here at South Coast Midwifery and a lot of you know me and I was hoping to give you some of my Lori-isms, things that I've learned over the 27 years of doing births and that I want to share with you some things that I think are really going to improve your pregnancy, birth and, and postpartum and it's, this is going to be a series of um, little vignettes that we have to share with you and I really hope you enjoy them. Uh, today we're going to talk about what I really want to talk about and it's one of my things I'm very passionate about is prenatal parenting and that's where you get to really get in touch with the baby inside of you that's growing and help to create a calm baby. There's actually now a study in psychology which is about 20 years old and they talk about how to help your baby while inside to become a really calm baby and to be able to see life as um, something to embrace and enjoy and not be afraid of. So the concepts, this is a, a little bit in a vignette, of uh, some concepts of how that works. When you're pregnant, the baby is bathed in all of your emotions, the, uh, the peptides that are released from your body or brain, which are res uh, a response to a stimulus, like if somebody runs you off the road or you're in traffic and, and that that will create a certain type of energy that creates more peptides that makes you feel all angry and upset or that kind of thing. Or in um, the opposite, of course, would be feeling love and happiness and playing with a puppy and all those wonderful things, right? So you can see how those two things differ. So babies that are born, or I'm sorry, that are surrounded in utero on a continual basis where the mother has a high stress or feels really upset in some way, continually just high stress, the baby has that all the time, feels, feels anxious, and therefore they believe their existence is one to always be feared. So when they come out, that's the way they see the world, is like, oh my gosh, the world is a scary place, and I don't know what's going to happen to me, and so they might be the baby that cries a lot, or every little thing makes them afraid, and, and that kind of thing. Where er of course, all of us have stressors. So the idea is that when you do have a stressor and your baby does get s bathed in those kinds of emotions, you need to counterbalance it. So that means like maybe later in the day you go and you sit and you put some nice music on and, and then you talk to your baby and say, wow, I know that was kind of crazy with the car driver and they were honking at us and it made, made us really nervous but it's gonna be okay now and it's not your fault and I love you and I'm so glad you're coming and give the baby those love emotions and love hormones. And then when you do that, it proves to the baby that yes, sometimes the world is kind of scary and crazy, but it's gonna be all right. You're gonna be fine and we're gonna have love again. So the baby has kind of an emotional um, balancing system. They actually learn to self-soothe themselves. So that is such a wonderful gift that you can give your baby from the very beginning. And your partner can help do it too, like having daddy or your partner come over and give your baby lots of love and speak to them because the emotions that you feel for your partner will be emanated all around your baby and making them feel special and loved like they should be. So uh, have a great day and it was great to spend some time with you. Mm -hmm.